Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markway at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. Hello, this is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Marquis of Living Streams International bringing you matters of faith with Graphic Online. But I'm still capturing the, the event of each time. I'm looking at different, different things. I'm looking at Easter through a kaleidoscope of principles, many multiple, multifaceted, multicolored uh, 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 principles. And one of them this morning is resilient caps, resilient caps, immovable caps. You know, cars that will never go away. Now, here's the story. Remember in the Garden of Gethsemane, Jesus goes into the, into the uh, garden and then he prays. And then he prayed and said, God, if it be your will, 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 take this cup away from me. He went, came back, he prayed. He prayed and there were great drops of blood and there was, there was sweat and blood, mixture of sweat and blood. And he prayed and his prayer was, Lord, take this cup. I can't take this cup. The cup that I'm going to drink is going to mean I'm going to be separated from your eyes. are going to be taken off me for a while. You're only going to look down on me because I bear on my body the marks of sin. I bear on my body the, the stain of sin. And God, you can't look down on me. Father, take this cup. Take this cup. Now, I mean, that was a very passionate and a very, I mean, powerful prayer. And I said, wow. I mean, the son begging the father, I beg you, please take this cup. But he kept insisting, if it is your will, Lord, you know, that, that left to me, if it is my will, my will says, don't give me this cup. But here's the point. He prayed for the cup to disappear. He prayed for the cup to go away. But the cup never went away. And the Bible said his father did not even answer him. The Father did not answer that prayer. So sometimes we walk around with the notion that God answers every prayer and God is under obligation to, obligation to answer every prayer. That is not right. God doesn't answer every prayer. He answers prayer that lines up with His will. We need to understand. James said, you ask and receive not because you ask amiss. So sometimes we can pray over the bad prayers. And Jesus was praying that kind of prayer. Take this cup away from me. And so far as He kept that praying that prayer, God never answered. But guess what? The day Jesus said, nevertheless, not my will, but your will be done. The Bible says, then angels came down to minister to him. And they didn't come to minister by, by taking the cup away. But they came to give him strength for the ordeal that was ahead of him. So you know what? There are some pathways or there are some dealings of God in our lives that will bring pain, that will introduce us to pain and discomfort. And there are things that God will be doing in our lives that, that are unpalatable. That, that, that will introduce great discomforts to us. That will be on knees. And it's, it's a treacherous, it's, it's, a, it's a painful process in our lives. And left to us alone, we want to escape the, the pathway of pain. We want to move away from that valley of, of, of discomfort and say to ourselves, that enough is enough, God, I can't take it anymore. And sometimes the more we pray and, and we pray, God doesn't seem to answer that prayer, but we are stuck in it. And sometimes the reason why we are stuck in it is, you know something? There's a price he's, he wants us to pay for what is ahead of us. There's a price he wants us to pay for what is coming. There's a glory that is coming. He is not going to take that cup away because that cup of pain, that resilient cup is going to introduce us to thrones that are bigger than any other throne that we've ever seen. So here's the principle. There are some cups of pain we would ask God to take away he won't take away. But sometimes rather in the act of surrendering, not my will, but your will be done. That is what will rather strengthen us. That is when we receive strength from ab above. This particular ordeal is not forever. He was just passing through the valley of a shadow of death. He wasn't building a house in that place. He was just moving on. It was temporary. It was not permanent. It was something that was just going to last for, for an evening or a night. And the Bible says weeping may endure for an evening or a night, but joy comes with the morning light. So you know what? That moment of your life is just a transitory moment and it is not permanent. So lift up your eyes. You drink this cup because there's something better. There's something. There's a banquet laid up for you right when he sets a table before you in the presence presence of your enemies. So you know what? There are some cups and there are cups of pain which are resilient to prayer and the prayer will not move them away.
surrendering prayer will be the key. Well, this is not something that is palatable, but still I got to say it. So, see you later.